So let's talk about Act 1, the foundation of every great story. This is where you introduce your main characters, the world that they live in, and the central conflict. You want to hook your audience in right away and give them a reason to care. This act sets the stage, introduces the stakes that drive the rest of the story. In the Save the Cat structure, there's an element called the catalyst, which sets your protagonist in a new direction, heading straight for the inciting incident, which is when everything changes. Examples of catalysts are Neo in The Matrix when he gets the message on his computer, or when Luke Skywalker finds the message from Princess Leia for Obi-Wan Kenobi, or when Barbie loses her powers and gets cellulite. This changes the course for your protagonist, leading them directly to the inciting incident, which is the climax of Act 1, and this usually forces them into a new world, and their journey finally begins. Okay, Act 2, this is where things really heat up. Your protagonist has left their normal world behind, and is now facing a series of tough choices that make things harder and harder for them. Each decision should raise the stakes and push the story forward. This is the part where many movies plateau, but the trick here is to put tougher challenges in front of your protagonist. Then we hit the midpoint reversal, and this is where the story takes a major twist. Think Terminator 2. Up until the midpoint, Sarah Connor believes that the Terminator is a villain, but then she discovers that he's actually there to protect her son, so the story shifts and it's a whole new movie. After the midpoint, the stakes keep escalating until we reach the all is lost moment. This is when your protagonist hits rock bottom and it feels like everything's falling apart. In Barbie, this happens when the Kens have taken over Barbie land and everything seems hopeless. But then America Ferreira gives her iconic speech, and the Barbies rally together and formulate a new plan. This second element is known as the Dark Knight of the Soul, an emotional low point, but it helps set up the transition into the third act. Okay, let's talk about Act 3, the big finale. Your protagonist has a new plan, and they're ready to face the final challenge. Every choice they make now leads to the showdown with the antagonist. It's the make or break moment where they succeed or fail. Sometimes your protagonist succeeds, but it's at a great cost. This is called a Pyrrhic victory. Like in The Dark Knight, when Batman saves the city, but has to take the blame for Harvey Dent's crimes. And the resolution of Act 3 should tie up all those loose ends and deliver an emotional payoff that your audience has been waiting for. And that's it. That's Feature Structure 101. So go out there and write great things. Hey everybody, Ken here. If you want to see more One Minute Film School, be sure to like and subscribe, or click the Join button for members-only exclusive content.